water out of the old park. Big silver coin. Uh, we're going to have a great day in here today uh, in the old abandoned park uh, and playground area. Thanks for joining us. Quite an old find. It's a fired musket ball, flat on one side. There is a lot of stuff in here and it's uh, difficult conditions to detect and dig. So it's the sort of place you just keep coming back to and back to and you're going to keep finding stuff. It's just an awesome spot to come detecting. It's got to be King George V. Beautiful old Australian penny. Oh, he looks like he got a silver coin. Okay, as you can see, it's a Victoria sixpence. Uh, that's the obverse with Victoria looking to the left. Okay, I haven't had anything for about 20 minutes and Colin just uh, discovered something here. I've got no idea what it is. I don't about know whether it's anything or not. What is it? Oh. Is it cut? It looks like it could be a coin, but it's cut silver. Over. Eh? It's been bent over, but it looks like it's got an edge, like it could have been a coin. Or... I've tried to open Actually, it. Actually, yeah, bit. it does too. Yeah. I think it's alloy. It's really thin. Yeah, it's, un it's not. It's not up uh, on silver. It's ringing up on like forty-eight. It wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a hammered or anything. It's definitely got, no, no, <laughs> a hammered coin. Yeah. Uh, I can see there is some motif on there, but we'll yeah. we'll carefully open that and see what it is. It could be some sort of token or something. I don't know. Like oh. a like an aluminium token. Yeah, it's got a little bit of weight. Hmm. Interesting. What was your target idea? Only the forties. Ah, oh, forty-eight or oh. something. Wasn't okay. high, so it's not silver. No, well, it's not much of it. It's pretty thin. Have a look at this jungle giant with the buttress roots. Might run a detection trip around that, eh? That looks awesome. It is very, very old. A fig, I think. I'm not sure if the top's in it. I can't see. Could have been lightning struck. Most of these big trees are, but because uh, you get violent um, thunderstorms through here in the storm season, they're wet. Well, this is only a 47, 48, but it was a solid signal. It's an old clock mechanism, complete with the axle for the, the cog there. Uh, I don't know what the old clock was doing in here. Maybe it went camping. But right, Colin's running hot on the coin. She's got a what she believes is a sixpence, but with a low target ID, so she thinks it may be a fifty percent. I think it's yeah, it must be. Uh, the patina looks like it is a fifty percent. So that could be from the very end of the use of this park, like the fifties. Because forty-six, we went to fifty percent. Yeah. Okay, we're just getting close. Okay, there's the coin. Uh, we don't really know what it is, do we? No, we need to clean it, I think. But you know. They get that funny patina on the 50%. I've lost the light now, have we? Yeah. I don't know where it's gone. The sun, that sun keeps moving. <laughs> Look, we'll get some still shots of that coin. Oh, there we go. We'll get some still shots and uh, definitely put dates up for you to uh, work out what we've got here. Colin's determined it's a, a Queen Elizabeth on the obverse, so 50% sixpence. You can see part of the coat of arms. Okay. Like I did say in an earlier video once, it's interesting, that old coat of arms is the actual 1908 coat of arms on the sixpence, because that's the only coin, and they, they never changed the reverse. Oh, okay. And uh, that's an old obsolete coat of arms they had in service from uh, 1910 until 1964 when they stopped making them. Nice one. Okay, Colleen's uh, Elizabeth sixpence has turned into a spill. Anything more than one's a spill these days, <laughs> just like any more than one nugget's a patch. What is it? What sort of coin? It looks like another sixpence. Oh, okay. We're similar target ID? Well, there's a lot of um, iron stuck in the soil, so I'm not sure if it's... Oh, a <laughs> leaf. Yeah. Can't see with the sun. Oh, the yes, the lights are definitely silver. You've got three silvers on the board. Yeah. Could play another two Lizzie sixpences, eh? Yeah. Nice. 62. Okay, Colleen's spill continues. She's got another coin coming up, we think. 62. Like could be a threepence, a half threepence, like a 50% threepence. So you got... Yep. It went very deep, so... No. Well, these are like the newest, if that's a word to use, the newest coins we've dug here. We came here, uh, what was it, three years ago? Yeah, didn't actually just make a video. Time. Found a ton of stuff, but we didn't video it. <laughs> One reason being it's difficult to video in here, but hopefully this is footage is visible. Looks okay on the um, LCD on the back. Coins up in the front of the hole, battling with the roots, just gone manual here. You got it? No? Oh, it's yep, you got it. I bet it's a little strip, a bit of your strippings. Lizzie's strippings. I hope so. 
Oh, oh. it's what? a pipe in here, I think. Oh, it's... oh, no, I wonder if it's... Um... Oh, that could be a... That could, could be a 20... Uh, could be a 20 cent. 20 oh, cents. you know what? It could be a 20... What was the number? Only 62, so it's quite low. Yeah. I can't see it properly with these. Right. Curious. Well, two are... Well, two is pre-decimals, and... Let me have a look. What we think may be a decimal. Yeah, it looks like a... 20 cents, maybe? Well, if not, it's a half florin, but I don't... Uh, 50% florin would be higher than that, wouldn't it? Okay, we'll give it a clean and we'll be back. Okay, did continue. She just checked the mullet keep. That last coin was 20 cents. Which is pretty weird. This one's an 85. That might be a florin. It is a florin. Oh, nice work. Wow, this is a heck of a patch you've uncovered. So that's 85. Well, when, what year will that be? 85 could be a 50% florin, but it's a pretty high number. Like a a, a, a sterling florin usually in the 90s. Florin. What a ripper. Look, we'll get a, a picture of this little spill that she's just got. You're really kicking my bum suddenly. <laughs> but there's more targets. I, think there was another I don't know what that 20 cent coin was doing in there, but of course... Yep. More coins. No, that's quite low. What number? 52. That could be a strippance. Of course, what happened was... When we went decimal in 66, the equivalent value of the um, old pre-decimals went over to decimal, so a florin became 20 cents. A 20 cent coin, same size and weight. Sixpence was five cents. That could explain that 20 being in there. And they're all, if they're Lizzie's, if the florins are Lizzie. Yep. Under the roots here. It's pretty exciting stuff. Nice spill. You're way off it, yeah, a little way off it, I think. It's under here, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. under that root still, you might have to disturb it. A bit of live coin spill action in the old park. Probably a picnic rug here, right here in the 1950s, eh? I oh, know, well, no, that can't be right, the 60s. Picnic area, wasn't it? Yeah. Could have been a bit of swimming and picnicking going on. There it is. Oh, look at that, it's actually in the hole. It might be another 20 cents. Oh, no, that's the root. Oh. Thought it was a bit shiny. No, that's the sun. It's really hard to see what's going on in here. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's a coin there. I can't see it properly. Yeah. Watch me. No, no. I thought it was. Now yeah, let's move that apex. That's my boot. Yeah, it's right up in there. A bit of conservation happening there. Okay, you must, you'd have it now, I think. There, I can see it. There. The coin's there. There. Where? Oh, yeah. There'd be another sixpence. I think so. Okay, once again, we'll photograph this little spill as a single, uh, as a single photo. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm tempted to think there's more here. Let's check it. <laughs> Actually, uh, to my dismay, I think I just walked through here about two hours ago. Swung the coil the wrong way, obviously. This goes to show you. This place would be, uh, you could detect this place forever and never find everything. You can hear that she's got her own audio on there on the apex. More coins. This, uh, this is definitely a big pocket spill, this one. This is um, coming up as a 50 again, 52. Be another sixpence, eh? So, yeah. Or a threepence? The 50% um, ones, then. Yeah. Not the really old. Ones. That's alright. Better than digging a decimal spell. Better than digging nothing. <laughs> like me. No, we've had a great day in here, actually. Uh, conditions aren't uh, that easy, apart from the light issue. It is really humid in here, and we're uh, sweating, and it's difficult to see in the camera. I don't know how it's working, but... Um, and mosquitoes are rampant. But we're just dealing with that for your viewing pleasure. We're going to retreat to the... Uh, Retreat to the comfort of the ute shortly and go and get uh, some lunch in town. It's a 20 minute drive from here. You've definitely moved it. Up in there. Yep. There it is. There it is. It looks like a 10 cents. Yeah, this is a weird spill, isn't it? Yeah. What was the number on that? 52. Could be a 10 cent or a shilling. 
Yeah, 50 shilling. shilling. They're all the same size. Yeah, I can't really see it though. There's a bit of sun over there to your left. Any hope of an ID? Mm. Too much dirt on it. Well, anyway, this is definitely a pocket spill. All these coins are rolled out at once and they're all in the, exactly on top of each other, aren't they? Yeah, virtually. Just in that one little patch. Yep. Mm. Check it with the apex. And it's, it's not um, very deep, so it's not like... No. Or anything. Not like that Victorian silver you got, no. which was way down under a big old buttress or root. Yeah. So we'll just see if there's anything up, any signals left. No. Nope, just iron now. Sure. Nice work. Congratulations. Thanks. Like I said, we were in here about three years ago, I think it was. It was uh, a November day and it was really hot and humid. We were drenched and uh, we didn't actually film anything. It was just really difficult conditions. Dug a lot of coins on that occasion. Some nice old relics uh, from this park. Um, so there's going to be a lot more in here. That little spill just demonstrates that because even something as uh, awesome as a coin spill is in contained in such a tiny area, so very easy to walk past targets. Best thing about this side is you can come in here with it, whatever call you like. A big call will go deep, get over the top of the roots, you get the old deep stuff. Little calls you can get in around the um, the trees and the vines and branches, so you can adapt to whatever's here with the call that you got. And really, uh, you can come back, keep coming back with different configurations and machines. Awesome spot. Right, I've just got a coin out of the ground. I can see it exposed. It's a large coin. I don't want to jinx myself. I think we've got another florin. Got a target ID. 87, 88. That'll be sterling. Let's zoom in and have a look at this. Alas, it's not a florin. It's a kangaroo penny with a target ID of 88. That's wild. Good quality copper in that one. Definitely not silver, as you can see. It'll be a King George V. I can just see the tail of the roo there. Never mind. Nice old coin, nevertheless. Okay, Colin's back on the board again. Oh, she's been on the board all day. What do you got? Um, I saw a little coin here, but now I don't know where I've put it. You're right on there. I can see the edge of it. Where? Silver. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's, <laughs> that's a root. Yeah, that's it. Hey? Oh, yeah. Okay. We've got a little coin ball, but that's a serpent's. That'll be sterling silver with a number like you getting the crazy high numbers. Right, you something. That's m mad. Oh, wait a minute. It's a button. Is it? Isn't it? It's a button. Oh. Yeah, look at that. It's a domed button. Oh, it's got an Australia on it. Oh, it's an Australian Army button. That looks like a Australia on that yeah, side. Yeah. yeah, That'll be an Australian Army, Australian Military Forces button. Nice work. Wow. So a couple of soldiers came in and had a bit of a picnic. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little journey in there today. What a great day. Um, we got that big floor on the other day in the rain and we thought we'll come back and try our hand at it again. Awesome co uh, coin spill Colleen got in that old Victorian um, sixpence. I got a few pennies and halfpennies to add to the, uh, the pile and uh, top it off she got that lovely uh, probably World War II, could be World War I, uh, Australian Military Forces tunic button. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. Happy Fossicking. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.